Hello and welcome back to yet another video from our RD350 series and today's topic is are NOS barrels, NOS RD350 barrels of course, uh, worth the fortune that you know the sellers are asking. Uh, for those who don't know what NOS stands for, here it means a new old stock. Essentially uh, again talking about barrels, barrels that have been kept in their original packing okay since 73 or 83 or thereabouts and they haven't been used that means they are uh, absolutely unused they are new but the stock it's old stock it's it was manufactured decades ago okay so uh, you know uh, they have been sitting there for decades so the question is whether you should be you know paying a fortune for that for your rd350 whether it is really worth the money whether whether it is really worth the money or of course you have a better alternative of course you know talking about uh, the amount of money that you are spending and the uh, you know performance and the longevity that you can you you know you would expect uh, by spending that x amount so Gautam Bhai what do we have today okay so uh, to simply put that the kind of money which you would be spending for the NOS barrels uh, may not be worthwhile the money now I'll have to expand a little bit. So what happens uh, during the casting process, there are hidden stresses in the part and they are called residual stresses. So if you are using that part within like a couple of weeks, couple of days or months, then that part doesn't get a chance to deform by its own. However, uh, in the engine environment when it's running, it will deform but then it will deform in presence of other components which will compensate that deformation. So what happens over the years when the part is sitting there uh, with the change in weather and temperature cycling, those hidden residual stresses they act upon the part. So I, I wasn't even aware of it. So uh, what happened that once I bought a NOS barrel and I wanted to check the measurements and tolerances mm -hmm. to which it had been measured. And fortunately, I had access to a multi-axis CMM. I put through those barrels. We are talking about, uh, you know, the CMMs used by manufacturers. So by yeah. OEMs, that level of that CMM, level. which have very high level of accuracy, right. where you can do uh, uh, profile uh, studies of this order. Right. And when I put the, those uh, barrels through, it was an eye-opening event for me because it was full of uh, distortions and then immediately having a casting background I knew where it is coming from mm -hmm. so and distortions to a level that they are not acceptable anymore to be used because they were out of a specification for instance the barrel should not lead to a clearance issue where it is below 40 microns using those barrels especially the skirt area you will see this is the report uh, on the screen right here. Yeah. You know, the, the report that you're seeing right now, that is what, you know, uh, Gautam Bhai did. And uh, of course, I'm sure, you know, it would be an eye opener for you as well. So it's almost piston to barrel contact. Forget the 40 micron, it's almost piston to barrel contact. Wow. So your next question would be, then what do we do in that case? Precisely. precisely. If we want to blueprint an engine, if we want to explore the old glorious days, you are potentially better off taking a used barrel and machining it on a proper machine and then using that and on dyno that will outperform most likely a NOS barrel or NOS engine because of the simple reason of those distortions and to just to add to it and I'm sure uh, some of you must be having a casting background will agree to it companies like Cosworth used to leave their heads and barrels outside in the oh, rain yes. to rot yes. for yes. years yes. before they were put on uh, machining uh, equipments and to be used for the premium class racing and the only reason was that the uh, these deformations the re residual stresses would have done their job and then that part will be more stable compared to a fresh part which comes out of a casting die and then you're using it. So my friends, I would say that uh, you might be lucky enough. It's like throwing See, a dart in darkness. You know? I, I, I would say, like we were discussing, uh, 
you know no one i i i'm i'm sure no one okay back in 73 or back in 83 and in fact no one would even right now you know take a barrel for example okay you know and put it you know in a temperature control environment that you know what uh, 30 years down the line you know this would be you know my uh, you know this this would be my asset my on which i will retire absolutely, or absolutely or probably it will like an investment yeah, true 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 <laughs> So I mean, uh, yeah. under certain conditions, it is possible. You may be very, very lucky that the barrel ended up in a in a country, in a place, in an environment where, where the variations are not too drastic. Correct, correct. But the chances are the way how the parts usually end up being in sitting in a garage outside true, home true, true, or true. somewhere in yeah, in the yeah. attic in your home where yes. it is not as temperature controlled as you would expect. Yes. Even then, there would be some distortions. and those distortions i mean see if you want to keep it as a relic as a paperweight or as a as something which this is look here a 2 lakh rupee paperweight gotham uh, bike so I, i recently saw someone you know buying a barrel okay set of barrels set, set of barrels of course yeah. you know uh, a set of barrel for 2 lakh rupees yeah i mean of course and then we have people uh, you know that they bro i need an rd for a lakh rupees yes. yeah i have so good luck with that who bought that <laughs> pair um uh, he could be lucky that uh, he ended up with a set of barrels which had been kept in a temperature controlled environment humans don't get an opportunity let alone parts so uh, yeah so this is i would say going back to your original question be mindful what you're getting into buying old castings and paying top money uh could may not give you that level of satisfaction probably for which you are spending on first place so if you have a set of barrel which is on a standard or done 0.25 if you get it machined properly you're not missing much you do not really need to spend 2 lakh rupees to achieve that and that degree of perfection yeah it's not worth it because 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 uh, eventually you're not getting it you're not getting it anyway no, okay because like we discussed it is you know near impossible that you will find a barrel that has been preserved in a museum okay and kept at a temperature you know all through these decades of like 22 degrees or you know but then the point like again like you know at the cost of reputation you said that uh, irrespective of where you're living okay Uh, you know your 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 parts been your your you know all 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 that you know all the so, motorcycle parts are kept at a place okay which is not very uh, i would say that you know of course uh, you have a temperature control environment you know in your in your living room you might not have that in your garage hmm. and even then you know uh, of course there are variations it would not be a constant even if you have it it would not be a constant 22 degrees okay or there about so uh, crux of the matter is irrespective of you know how the barrel has been kept the nos barrel uh, you know has been kept there would be deformation unless it is backed up by a proper measurement report people should not uh, no one can make absolute claim that it's worthwhile the investment it is it is you know it could be anything is that 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 says it all so yeah. unless you have a report that you know that like again unless you have a report that we showed uh, you a while back uh, that you know show something similar of course you know we showed the worst results yes we showed the actual result that this is the distortion that on, on a nos barrel uh, on a nos barrel so if you have a sim, uh, you know a report on the same lines which show better results by all means go and buy it for 5 lakh rupees yes. okay uh until then the consensus is that no it's absolutely not worth it you will be getting you know better performance okay by properly qualitatively machining you know a used barrel yes and uh, like you said that it would it you you better off and it will out more more often than not it will outperform a nos barrel yes. and, and yeah a new old stock yes. you know barrel yes. so uh you know hope you like the video and i'm sure there would be a few who would not like this video uh, i would request both of you to you know share your opinions and comments in the comment section below and we'll see you soon in the next one thank you so much thank you